Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Titan del 86. Here you will find everything from your favorite characters, from anime, series, or movies, such as figures, statues, trading cards, and other limited special edition items. I will show you everything that is included. For example, we will discuss the design of the box, how it's packaged, the design of the figure, the articulation points, the accessories that are included, and we will see our favorite characters in special scenes, and you never know, you might see other characters make special guest appearances, so you can decide whether it's worth getting or not. Subscribe and join me on new weekly adventures. Now let's start the show, let's go. Hello and welcome to my channel, my name is Titan del 86 and today from Pokemon Center, I present to you the Pokemon edition of Chess. This is a giant box compared to other Pokemon items we received in the past from Pokemon Center. I chose to do this video now in celebration of Pokemon Day. So this is the chess set. Basically there isn't a really good design on the box. It's just a Pokeball on the side and it tells you what it is. Other than that the box is plain white. Upon opening the box, it's just a giant styrofoam box in the center that is divided into two sections. The chessboard comes packaged in two different sections. The first one is a styrofoam that probably has the chess pieces. Then the second one is just a slight styrofoam type style bag that actually covers the board game. Here's a close up of all the different little chess pieces that come with this Pokemon set. The ones in the blue represent the ones that are quote unquote the black pieces, then the ones in the clear back are the quote unquote white pieces. Just look at all those little Pokemon there, ready to play chess. There you can see a Dragonite. One thing to note, chess is usually with white and black pieces, but here the white pieces are more of a light silver and the dark pieces are more of a dark silver. So it's light silver versus dark silver. Upon removing them from the styrofoam box, here's the full set of all the different Pokemon pieces that you are getting. This chest set is basically only composed of Pikachu, both male and female versions, the Snorlax, Magikarp, Rapidash, and Dragonite. Now I will give you the 360 of each one. First one up is Magikarp. For this particular chess game, Magikarp is playing the role of the pawn. Which makes sense since Magikarp is the weakest Pokemon out of the original 150. I decided to do this video in celebration of Pokemon Day. If you like what you're seeing, don't forget to leave your like, subscribe to the channel, and share the video. Overall, the Magikarp figure does have some really good details. You can really see the character design. Follow me on IG at Titandel86. According to the box that was carrying this package, it seems like they made 1,030 game board pieces and mine was number 830, if I read that print correctly. It looks like it was handwritten, so the 8 could have been mistaken for a 3 easily, but it looked more like an 8. What is this thing? The king of all carp, a magic carp. Next up is Rapidash. Rapidash represents the knight. I have to say, out of all the chess pieces, this one is one of my favorite ones because Rapidash is representing the horse and obviously it matches. Plus Rapidash looks really amazing here. If you like what you're seeing, don't forget to leave your like, subscribe to the channel and share the video.
I believe next to the Pikachu one, this is probably the tallest piece on the board set. I think Dragonite is not as tall when it comes to this chest pieces. Follow me on IG at Titandel86. Let me know in the comments what are your thoughts on this Rapid Dash chest piece. Overall, Rapid Dash doesn't really get much of the spotlight, so I was surprised that they decided to use one here. Like I said earlier, it does make sense for this particular chess piece game. The next one is Dragon Knight. For the purpose of this chess game, Dragon Knight represents the bishop, which is the one that moves diagonal. If you like what you're seeing, don't forget to leave your like, subscribe to the channel, and share the video. Overall, the Dragon Knight game piece is sculpted very well. You can really see the details of this fabulous Dragon Knight, and it's a very solid game piece. I'm trying to think out of the 150 or any of the other ones if I would have picked a different Pokemon to play the role of Dragon Knight. I think the purpose for this chess piece was to use only the original Pokemon except for the Pikachu one that had the male and female version which we'll deep dive that later. But I think if they really wanted to they could have used other Pokemon that would have resembled better as far as what the game pieces are representative. But I have a feeling here they wanted to stay with the classic ones just to make this chess piece game set really special. Up next is Snorlax. Snorlax represents the Rook, which I'm not sure why they would pick that because Snorlax is really slow. But I guess if for this case, I have no idea what the thought was. Maybe because Snorlax is a popular Pokemon. If you like what you're seeing, don't forget to leave your like, subscribe to the channel, and share the video. In case you are wondering, instructions were not provided. So Pokemon Center assumes that you already know how to play chess. So have fun with that. I am not sure if this was a good representative. I think maybe they could have used something else. Like maybe a Dodrio, since we know that Pokemon is fast. It could easily go up and down the board pretty quickly. Or just about any other flying bird Pokemon. Farfetch would have played it better actually. But anyways, they chose Snorlax for a reason and here it is. Follow me on IG at Titandel86. The chest pieces overall, they're not too heavy, but they do have an added mass to make them feel sturdy. It's a Snorlax. The next one's the queen, which is played by the female Pikachu version. The one thing I, that I don't really like about this is that they actually picked the Pikachu, male and female, to play the king and the queen. If it was me doing it, I would have picked Needle King and Needle Queen. To me, those two Pokemon make a lot more sense than the two Pikachus. Let me know in the comments what are your thoughts. If you like what you're seeing, don't forget to leave your like, subscribe to the channel, and share the video. The other thing is you have duplicate Pokemon for both the dark pieces and the light pieces where you have enough now that you could have actually did secondary ones. So technically player one and player two could have had different characters to represent the same chessboard pieces. I'm not sure why they decided to replicate them, but I really think it was just a lot easier just to keep the same moldings and just repaint them. And I think that's probably what they did. So those are like the only two complaints I have as far as this Pokemon chessboard game is concerned. 
Follow me on IG at Titandal86. Here you can see the Pikachu as the king. The other thing, I'm not too sure of the expressions that they gave for Pikachus. They're a little weird. I think this is where Pokemon Center kind of messed the mark on the idea. The execution and everything is fine. I just have an issue with that. The two Pikachu poses that they picked for the male and the female. And basically not really picking Needle King and Needle Queen since they would have fit the bill even better. Or just recycling the game pieces where player 1 and player 2 have the same characters. I think they could have did a little bit more and gave unique characters. If you like what you're seeing, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and share the video. Follow me on IG at Titandal86. Overall, I really like the execution of this, and it's a really good thing to have in your collection. This is one of those game pieces that you can have kind of like at, at an entrance when someone first comes into your house or your room or whatever you're storing it, just to kind of show a little bit of hint of class. And that's kind of the way I see it. It's just not really to be played for, but it's just more of a showpiece. But this is very good, especially for gifting. If you're trying to give it to someone as a gift, I'm pretty sure they will appreciate it and like it. Here's a close-up of the board. The box itself is hollow on the inside, but it is a little bit on the heavy side, and it's also really huge. If you like what you're seeing, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and share the video. On both sides of the box, it has drawers for you to store the game pieces, and you can see here the little decorations for them. Here's the close-up of the drawers open, so you can see it comes in with a yellow lining, which I'm not sure if that's a good color to go with it. It kind of throws the rest of the theme. I think they could have picked a better, more neutral color or something different. Here's an overview of the pieces now on the board. Here you have all the Pokemon ready to go. This kind of reminds me of the fly view of Pokemon Stadium for those of you that play that game. Let me know in the comments what are your thoughts on this board game. If you like what you're seeing, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel and share the video. I believe this special Pokemon edition of Chess was released a few years ago and it's also still available online for you to purchase. It is a little bit pricey though. This is all I have for you today. If you like what you're seeing, don't forget to leave your like, subscribe to the channel and share the video. And I'll see you next week with a brand new video. Also make sure you enjoy Pokemon Day. Thank you and bye.